Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a soul sculptor. I'm also a coach and a healer. And there was a time when I used to say I'm sorry a lot. In fact, I said I was sorry so much that I often heard people say, you don't have to apologize. Does that ever happen to you? When we over apologize, it could be a desire to stay away from conflict. It could be that this came from your childhood, that you were unsure of your position and you wanted people to like you. And of course we want people to like us. However, there's a time and a place for an apology. If you step on someone's toe, for example, that requires an apology. But if somebody comes into your home or office and spills their coffee all over your papers, there's no need for you to apologize to them. So sometimes we apologize because we don't want to take up too much space. We don't want to maybe uh, tread on somebody else's toes or maybe we don't want to disagree with someone else, we may be using an apology to avoid conflict. So here's the thing about over apologizing and it can hurt your career. If you apologize all the time, it can become insincere and habitual as opposed to, I'm really sorry I hurt your feelings. Do you see the difference? when it is a sincere apology for something that you did to harm someone else, absolutely apologize. But if you are apologizing because you're overdressed or you're so beautiful or you're such a wonderful coach or healer, there's no reason to apologize for taking up more space or being brighter or having a huge auric field or being powerful. There's no reason to apologize for being who you are. So when we apologize too much, it could be a couple of things. It could be, like I said earlier, we're trying to avoid conflict. It also could be insecurity. You don't want to stand out. Maybe you don't want to be noticed. If you start your emails with, I'm sorry to bother you, but what you're doing is you're self-deprecating. You're putting yourself down. You don't need to do that. You're a sovereign being. So standing in our personal power and not being afraid to take up more space, yes, it requires confidence, but it also requires us knowing who we are. So part of over-apologizing is Maybe your beliefs are different than someone else's, and so you apologize for your differing belief. But what does that do? It makes people not know what you stand for. So there's no need to apologize if your beliefs are different. Stand in the truth of who you are. Stand in that strength, that power. So being comfortable with who we are, loving ourselves, knowing who we are and what we stand for is paramount. But there's a couple of things I would like to share with you. Okay, so if you're apologizing because you feel insecure, it highlights your insecurity. As a matter of fact, just like sighing indicates depression. Did you know that? <sighs> you hear people walking around that sigh all the time? <sighs> that indicates depression. Apologizing too much highlights insecurity. And we need to feel secure and good about who we are. Comparing yourself with someone else does not do it for you. So standing for your own truth, speaking up when you need to, not being afraid of having a conflicting idea or opinion. And today there are many, right? 
Wear a mask, don't wear a mask. Social distancing or hugging. Apologizing for who you are is not necessary. And it, it lets others recognize that you have personal doubt. Okay, so it, it shows insincerity. It is not an honest response. Apologizing too much becomes habitual. We can break the habit by, there's a couple of things to do. Right before you start to apologize, take a breath. And then, what was it you were feeling right before you were about to apologize? So recognize what is it that is making me want to say I am sorry for being here. Am I feeling insecure? Am I feeling self-doubt? Am I trying to avoid conflict? Ask those questions in the background of your mind while you're breathing through whatever it was that you were feeling. And don't be afraid to sit in silence instead of apologizing to say something. Sometimes we apologize to fill a space. We feel uncomfortable or the other person is uncomfortable in our presence. I just experienced that recently where I am who I am. I'm the same no matter who I'm with. And this is, this is who I am. And if I show up and I make you feel uncomfortable, that's not my problem. Me being who I am, that's authenticity. But if me being who I am makes someone else feel uncomfortable, is that my issue? No. So if you're apologizing because someone else feels uncomfortable in your presence, there's no need for an apology unless you stepped on their foot or you tripped them. And I'm sure that wasn't the case. Okay, there's a couple more things. So the, the thing about apologizing could be that you are looking for others to validate you. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. And outer validation disempowers us and leaves us powerless. So our validation needs to come from within, not from outside of us. The other truth about over apologizing, we're comprom compromising our own values. We're we're dimming our light, we're avoiding conflict. So the only time that you need to apologize is if you have hurt someone else's feelings or hurt them physically. There's no need to apologize for being you. I hope I have shed some light on the world of apologizing and I have a book, Orgasm for Life, where I do talk about the apology being a shoe in into the bedroom totally different subject. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. If you enjoyed this, please share it with your friends. And if you have questions, please post them below because I read all your comments and I will respond. And if you have a subject that you would like me to do a video on, post below the video. I would be glad to do so. My website is jenniferelizabethmasters.com and I thank you for being here. Thanks for joining me. Much love to you.